Hello and welcome to Bangalore 101 and I'm Mansi Today, we talk about a topic that is every parent's biggest worry, keeping the child safe. Now, last week, the Karnataka High Court ordered the state government to submit an action taken report on the 113 child sexual abuse cases that were reported in the state. Now, these numbers come from the data collected by the Ministry of Women and Child uh, Welfare. But what really got me to talk about this topic was a recent equity. In 2012, a seven-year-old child was allegedly raped in a very reputed school in Whitefield. A medical report also confirmed injuries indicative of a rape. The matter went to court and a line of argument that was uh, used by the defense was that a seven-year-old child was sexually active. The acquittal came just about a month ago. Now let's look at the numbers. The recently released uh, National Crime Bureau Records uh, report for 2017 says that of all the crimes that were uh, put under crimes against children, 25.3% were filed under POSCO. But the Ministry of Women and Child Welfare, their data paints a more gruesome picture. It says 50% of children in India are sexually abused. That is one child of every two children. In Bangalore, for the year 2017, 414 cases were falling under POSCO. Don't think it's only little girls were susceptible. Of the 113 cases, 87 of them were boys and 26 of them were girls. So how do we keep our children safe? They're not safe at home, they're not safe at school, they're not safe in public spaces. How do you, as a parent, who's a primary guardian of your child, ensure that your child is safe? Now, very honestly, there's not uh, very many new things I can tell you about this. These are tried and tested methods. But I believe these things bear repeating. So the first thing is always you need to talk to your child. Talk to them. Always. Secondly, Understand the language when they come to you. They're not always going to come to you and say, I've been sexually abused. This is not a language a child is familiar with. They're going to come to you with things like, my stomach hurts. Watch out for physical uh, uh, traits like, you know, when the child's finding it difficult to walk or sit. Watch out for trauma in the genital and anal regions. That's the physical uh, indicators. Psychologically, when a child has been sexually abused, it withdraws from group activities, becomes very irritable. There is a drastic change in its behavior. Its academic performances suffer. A lot of children also replay this abuse as a game with other children. Watch out for it. Most importantly, believe them when they tell you that something bad has happened. It makes a world of difference when you believe your child to your child. But it's also true that you can't always be around your child. All of us work, we have different commitments. So how do you ensure that your child is equipped to deal with these situations on their own? First thing, of course, teach them about safe and unsafe touches. There are videos available that will help you with this. Teach them to say no and run away when a person is making them uncomfortable. These two tactics normally work. What I explained so far were interventions that you would actually do immediately. But what are your legal options? Of course, the first recourse is to file an FIR in the nearest police station. And please also know that the child will undergo a medical examination within the first 24 hours of the report being filed. Ensure that professionals are dealing with your child and make sure you're there throughout to ensure that the child is as comfortable as possible. Alternatively, you can also report the incident on the child helpline, which is 1098. Recently, a video went viral from Delhi. A 50-year-old man sexually assaulted a 6-year-old girl who was begging on the streets. A vigilant public mercifully caught him and handed him over to the police. Now, I really wish we weren't in a world where we have to deal with these horrors, you know, threatening our children. But we do. The only way we can protect our children is to be vigilant. And yes, we believe them when they tell us something bad happened. That's all we have for you this week. Till next week, goodbye.